Who lets it play out, contaminating the entire environment? Carlos? Do you remember me? Bruno? Oh yes. Who's seen you? Who's seen you? Huh? When you were in school, you used to make fun of me getting bad grades. Bragging. He only got good grades. Now, can collector on the street? While I. In this company there, oh. With my cousin. With a very important position. Congratulations, huh, Bruno? But. I don't understand you saying all this to me. No, it's just that. I. I'm just. Showing that this all leads nowhere, you know? It makes no difference. Look where you are and look where I am. But. They say it's important to help others, right? It's really. That's pretty important, huh? I think I've got some coins here. To help you. Here, oh, over to you. Thank you. You can get it. I have. Most important things to do. Oh my god, huh? How can anyone do that to others, huh? Cousin, you won't believe who I found out there. Oh, Carlos. Remember him? From school. I'm on a call. Give it a little time. Oh, Carlos. He became a tin can collector. Can you repeat? He would stay. Making fun of me for getting bad grades, you know? You remember him. No, yes I can. Just a little bit. I'm on an important call. It's gossip. Don't you like gossip? Okay, no. Look, I'll call you later, okay? Okay, okay. What's yours, huh? I was on an important company call. Gone mad? No, I gotta tell you I saw Carlos out there. Look. Bruno, you're unbearable, okay? More and more disgusting, I'll tell you. Me, huh? Good morning. If you're here, thinking there's a job for you, there's no vacancy in the cleaning anymore. No, I came here. It's just that you are out there now. Picking. Can. Poorly dressed. And now it's like this? What do you want? Hey Bruno, I don't understand that you've been mistreating me since you saw me, man. You don't remember, do you? When you were in school, you used to make fun of me because you got better grades than I did. What's up? Oh, where are you now? This is proof that studying gets you nowhere. You're here collecting cans and I'm the manager here. I'm the one in charge of this company. If I were a recycling collector, what's the problem? It's a dignified job like any other. But that's not the case. First, you respect me. I'm the boss here. I'm not disrespectful to you, okay? You've been humiliating me since you saw me, man. Please get out of here, go. Here there is no garbage for you to collect. There is no garbage, we work with something else. I'm not leaving here. If you don't leave here for good, you'll leave for bad. I'm not leaving here. What's going on here, huh? This guy here. It's making me lose my temper. Is that the way to treat people, Bruno? This baggy guy here. Can collector. Bruno, just a moment. Mr. Carlos. Please give me a second. Let me talk to him. Putting him on the edge of the pack. I'm sorry for what's going on. Then we'll talk, can we? Okay, alright, thanks, okay? Thanks. Thanks. Now you're defending this guy, why? It's not about defending, my friend. You're crazy, aren't you? Do you know who this person is? It's Carlos who studied with me and kept making fun of me. Now he's a Ken collector. Yes, baby. He is the new owner of the company. Is that good for you? He. He's what? He's the new owner of the company, did you know? Do you know what that means? Resignation.
for God's sake, Malena. Go talk to him. I can't lose this job. Yes, you and I, right? What did you do, Bruno? Are you crazy? Freaked. You're going to apologize to him, because I'm going to do my job, okay? I have nothing to do with it. I'll try to explain it to him. Something, but... Prepares you. We're screwed. Was. For God's sake, what have I done? Carlos. Yes, Bruno. I. I've come to apologize for what happened. I. I saw you that way and jumped to conclusions. But this work here is very important to me. I had never worked before. In such a position, I've been a street sweeper, a supermarket cashier. I. I can't miss this spot. Well, Bruno. Everyone makes mistakes, but you treated me horribly. You judged me by the way I look. You don't do that, right? But I I won't fire you, okay? I hope with all of this, you've learned and that the lesson has served you, okay? Thank you so much. You won't regret it. Excuse me. Make yourself comfortable, Milena. Mr. Carlos. I came here just to ask. Please. Don't fire me and my cousin. I know that. There is no justification for what he did, but I. I wanted to ask you to reconsider his actions. Even on top of our work. We do a good job here and I know you won't regret it and I'm going to take care of this boy. By the company. By us, please. Well, Milena, that's what I was talking about with your cousin, okay? Everyone has the right to make mistakes. Nobody is doing that. Liabilities of not to make any mistakes in life, right? Yes. But. But he treated me one way. Horrible, right? No, I'm not going to fire. I'm not going to fire you, okay? But I hope that everyone learn from this mistake and don't commit again. Yes. Especially you, right, Bruno? If you make that mistake, I'm going to have to make a tougher decision. And I wouldn't want to do that. No, he won't, no. No, I'm never going to do that anywhere again with anyone. Rest assured, I've learned my lesson. Oh, don't forget, okay? Don't judge anyone by their appearance. Don't let your head go up, your status, your position, none of that. Stay humble. Right. You're right. Well. Thanks, okay? Can you get back to work, please? Thank you, doctor. Thanks, Carlos. Thank.